very often ministers would go in. I don't know. You know, somebody said, ah, sometimes they may make a uh, chairman, you know, minister come. I said, which minister? We've been telling them all the time we have a job shortage. But they're saying, no, there's no job shortage. If you go right now, any one of you fly into the region and go to any one of the health centers, you'll see the state. The PAHO WHO, they're conducting an exercise. They, you know, I was kind of embarrassed when they, they're doing the presentation, they look at the space that they have in these health centers or health huts. You have one or two boxes of drugs, right? So these are the things we're looking at. They have no regard for us. And so it went for about two hours today. The PPP leaders of regions 1, 8, and 9, and a couple of their parliamentary representatives met at the office of the leader of the opposition and aired their grievances to the press, and they had a lot of complaints. First of all, I would tell you that um, the state of our roads in Region 8 is, a, is in a real deployable state, and um, I would really like that to fix, and we are being promised that it will be fixed and after today. Nothing is being done about it. In health, I would like to tell you that we need more doctors in our region. Here we have shortage of drugs, and the transportation is an next issue. They wouldn't send in all the drugs, but if they send it into one place, we don't have transportation to drop it to these villages. So please, pay attention to these villages. So right now, we depend on um, subsistence farming. We are Indians, and we depend on subsistence farming with cassava. And right now, the cassava is rotten. So my region really need help in any assistance from the government, food-wise. That was Headley Payo, Vice Chairman of Region 8. Brent Null Ashley of Region action. 1 also listed a litany of complaints about the government functions in that region. There is total lack of respect for the authority of the regional government as it relates to the relationship between the central government and the regional democratic councils. In the Burima Waini region, we have a problem with the implementation of uh, the budget for this fiscal year 2018. The regional vice chairman of Region 9, Carl Singh, said that the indigenous people took offense to the minister, Minister Sidney Alicock's statement that he is seeking an amendment of the Amerindian Act to charge Tushau leaders who misappropriate government funds, saying questioned why the current government ministers are not being charged. The other statement made also by the, the vice president, Alicock, was that or he, he's recommending or he wants to to penalize, penalize to shows who would have misappropriate funds, misappropriate village assets and things like that. I again see that as, 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 as disrespectful. Well, why not look, look our government ministers, what, what they're doing? What about the broom scenario? Why not have a recall legislation for, for ministers or big public officials that, that, that misappropriate funds or do all these, these issues? For Channel 2 Headline News, Wendell Jeffrey. Thanks for watching Headline News. Leave a like or a comment below. And for updates on the latest news happening in Guyana, click the subscribe button.